Hi, I'm Lowell Copper, and I'm here with my good friend and fitness expert, Ronnie Rowland. This is the book that he's written along with his wife called Functional Training with a Fork. You should pick it up, take a look at it. It's a great book. And today we're going to be demonstrating uh, through Ronnie and myself some exercises that he'd like to share, uh, some tips on how to better improve your performance. And, uh, cut. Okay, we're going to go over uh, some common mistakes made on the uh, decline press. And it's, it's actually not just a decline press, but it's a lot of machines. And what happens is, the first thing do, people do a lot of times on the chest is they take the seat down too low. And what that's going to do is it's going to work. It's going to feel like a pressure on your neck, your shoulders. And it's not going to work your chest good. Where you want the, uh, where you want the seat set is you want the bar lined up at the back of the nipples. So you're going to have to bring those arms up there a little bit wider. So it's about 90 degrees. And then another thing is, see how far back he's having his stretch? He's way back here. And what that does is that causes rotator cut problems. So you try to push out there a little. See how hard it is? Try to push out from there. See, it's very hard. It needs to take it all the way back. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make an adjustment on him. And you can come on around and we'll spin we'll, uh, this. What we're going to do is, well, pull that out right there. That, once you put that uh, pin. And then we're going to pull this out right here. See how we're going to pull that up? Now put it at whatever you want to put it on. There we go. And then the same thing over here. We're going to go the same size, of, same width over here. Got to pull this out. There we go. Now look where you start. You're starting right here where your shoulders are in a good spot and not overstretched. Try that bolt so that works for your chest. There we go. And what this does, it helps prevent shoulder problems because you'll tear your rotator cuffs up if you uh, if you work out and you, and you start way back here. Just come out of the hole and tear up your rotator cuffs. And it gets worse the older you get. But that also works your chest better doing it that way. Okay, to recap, what we're going to do is low once you pull that out, I'm going to show you again. Once you pull out the pin, so you want to pull it out right there like that. Now put it back in the hole. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. There we go. And that's out about three, four inches further. So I'm not going to overstretch your shoulder.